Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let us see how to use interactive widgets in Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter widgets powered by the IEPI widgets library allows us to add interactive controls to our notebook. Instead of running a cell multiple times with different inputs, we can use widgets to dynamically change values in real time. Some popular widgets include sliders that helps us adjust values interactively, buttons that helps us to trigger actions and drop downs from which we can select options. We can use Jupyter widgets for exploratory data analysis to filter and visualize data dynamically in machine learning models to tune parameters interactively for creating dashboard uh, and building user-friendly reports in notebooks and for teaching and tutorials to make notebooks more engaging. First step is to install IPy widgets. So for that we need to write conda install c conda Forge IPy widgets. So after it is installed, we need to restart Jupyter Notebook if uh, it was running or we can launch the Jupyter Notebook. So the next step is to import the widgets library. So we need to open a Jupyter Notebook and we need to write in import ipy widgets as widgets then from ipython dot display import display now let us try creating a basic slider so i'm creating a variable name slider and i'll use the widgets library from that i'll use dot int slider so let me put the value as 25 minimum as 0 and maximum as 100 and steps as 5 then let me display this slider So we can see that we have created an interactive slider. So its current value is at 25, its minimum is at 0, maximum is at 100. And we can like drag the slider to whatever number we want to display. Next is we can create a drop down. So for that, let me create the drop down. So for that, I'll use the uh, drop down function from the ipy widgets library so in options i'll i'm creating a drop down of uh, programming languages so in the options i'll put in the names of some uh, uh, common programming languages like python r then let me put in julia then c plus plus So after the options, we need to put in a default value. So for that, I'll put Python. And for the description, I'll uh, put the description as languages. We can also put in Py uh, programming languages. Now let me display this drop down. So we have created an interactive drop down. So it is showing the messages languages and the default value is Python. And if we click on this drop down, we can choose an R. We can choose Julia. We can also choose C++. Now let us create a checkbox.
so for that from the widgets library i'm using the function as checkbox so let me put the default value as false which means that the checkbox won't be like selected or checked then in the description let me put in yes no maybe or we can write any description we want then in the indent let me put it as false now let me displace the checkbox so we can click on it to show yes and if we uncheck this tick box it means that we are choosing the option as no so it is useful for yes no or true false options then let me uh design a custom text so for that i am creating a variable name text input and from the widgets library from the widgets library i am using the function as text so let me put the default value as hello uh let me put the place holder as type something and let me put the description as message now let us display this text message so we can see that we have created a text box with the description as message and since the default value was hello so it is showing hello i can delete this and once we delete this the placeholder it is type something so let me type something so i'm typing how are you so it is great for getting user input or naming files messages etc so we can combine these widgets to build interactive mini dashboards user forms or control panels in our jupyter notebook for data filtering visualizations or simulations if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update see you in the next one